In the small, dimly lit town of Ravenswood, mysterious disappearances had been unsettling the villagers for weeks. Whispers of a haunting presence in the old manor on the edge of town circulated like wildfire. No one dared venture near the place after dark, fearing they too would become one of the lost souls. Amidst the growing fear, Elizabeth, an orphaned governess, arrived in Ravenswood to care for the reclusive Master Conrad's young son. She had heard the rumors of the manor but dismissed them as mere superstition. Desperate for work and a place to call home, she accepted the position without hesitation. As Elizabeth settled into her new role, the secrets of the manor gradually began to unravel before her eyes. Late at night, she would hear distant whispers and see movement out of the corner of her eye. Each day, the ominous atmosphere in the mansion grew thicker, suffocating her with a sense of impending doom. One afternoon, while exploring the manor, Elizabeth stumbled upon a hidden passage. Curiosity getting the better of her, she ventured down the narrow corridor, guided only by the faint glow of a candle she had found. It led her to a decrepit room filled with eerie portraits of a woman identical to herself. The resemblance was uncanny, so striking that Elizabeth could not help but stare in disbelief. Suddenly, a voice echoed through the room, cold and chilling. Elizabeth, my dear, you have finally found your way home, it whispered. Startled, Elizabeth turned around to find Master Conrad standing in the doorway. His face was pale and etched with lines of sorrow. It is time you know the truth, my long-lost daughter, he said, his voice trembling with emotion. He proceeded to tell her a story of a tragic accident that had occurred many years ago. Elizabeth's mother, who had been hoping to escape the clutches of her cruel husband, had perished in a fire that engulfed the manor. Elizabeth herself had been presumed dead, lost in the flames. Tears streamed down Elizabeth's face as she listened to her father recount the painful memories. The ghostly presence that haunted the manor was revealed to be her mother, trapped between worlds, desperate to reunite with her daughter. The disappearances in the town were merely her attempts to find her lost child. As darkness fell and the manor was enveloped in an eerie silence, Elizabeth knew she had to confront the ghostly figure lurking in the shadows before it consumed her newfound family. Gathering her courage, she ventured into the haunted corridors, her heart pounding in her chest. In the dimly lit hallway, Elizabeth came face to face with the ghostly apparition of her mother. The sight book terrified and filled her with a feeling of immense love. Mother, she cried, her voice trembling, I am here now. You can rest. The ghostly figure wavered and slowly dissipated, finally finding peace in the knowledge that her daughter was alive and safe. The haunting presence that had plagued the manor for years was gone, replaced by a sense of calm and serenity. With her mother's spirit finally at rest, Elizabeth and Master Conrad were able to rebuild their lives in Ravenswood no longer plagued by fear or darkness. In the shadows of the old manor, a new family emerged, united by love and the secrets that had bound them together.